Well, hey, we're back with another episode of Diamond Dialogue, where we uh, interview the members of Chat Realm and the Diamond Club, just to see what they're doing and let you know what's going on in their lives and give you a little, you know, basically invade their privacy for a little while. So definitely <laughs> invading my privacy right now. That's uh, exactly right. I'm joined by Subgons, who you just heard there. Uh, he's joining me for some some reason. I don't know. I guess maybe he thinks we'll be famous or something. It's, it's, <laughs> I may have lied to him about that. So what's, what's going on, man? Oh, not much. Just hanging out. All right. Awesome. Oh, well, all right. So I forgot to start recording this. So this isn't going to be recorded locally. At least the first part isn't. So we're going to rely on you there, YouTube, to uh, keep this for me. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. You can tell I definitely know what I'm doing here. Definitely. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, so what's up, Gans? Uh, who the hell are you, and uh, how did you get here? We'll start right off with the questions. Hard stuff. Um, well, I'm Seb Gans. Uh, how did I get here? How did I get like into chat room? Or what yeah. are you looking for exactly? It's exactly yes. The answer is just, yes. Just all of it. All of so, it. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Chat room. It was kind of kind of weird. I mean, I just was kind of hanging out at work. You know, needed something to listen to. Just happened to, you know pull up twit which i had no idea what twit was at the time and uh just stumbled across the nsfw show and you know from there it was just i watched most of it like i caught up on most of it right away spent a few days catching up and then <laughs> started watching live and then from there on it just started to contribute said hey you know what i can i can probably do stuff for this for these do guys stuff? so <laughs> that's how it went Awesome. Yeah, it, you, you have to catch up on, on NSFW or Night Attack as it is known now. Um, and in fact, if you want to watch Night Attack like as a new person, you pretty much have to watch all of NSFW before you watch yeah. Night Attack. <laughs> Otherwise, you well, just... I don't know. I think there's a few key episodes that you should watch. You know, yeah, you can, I, you can jump in. There's There has to be... Somebody put this together. Put together the most important episodes of NSFW there you that go. somebody you should watch. And then, I mean, yeah, like first Brody after that, episodes and, you know, first uh, problem solvers. So, you know, <laughs> you know, the problem solvers. Yeah. Stuff and... and like, um, what's it called? The the Chat Realm Awards or oh, whatever yeah. it was called. Yep. Uh, you know, those kinds of episodes. But really, once you watch those, um, I think you could jump into Night Attack right away. I don't know that you'd have to watch everything. That's true. You know, I, I started making my wife watch Night Attack. The uh, oh, which episode is this? Only like three or four episodes ago, we started watching it, and it was hilarious. Oh, it was the burst episode. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the first time they found that one, and uh, yeah, that's that's in her head completely now. <laughs> she she's like, "Damn you!" Walk around that catchy. <laughs> yeah, it's way catchy. My uh, my wife actually doesn't watch it. She doesn't watch Night Attack, but Go she ahead. knows she knows who Brian and Justin are. She knows all about, you know, what I do. Um what I what I enjoy watching. Oh yeah. So like Tuesday nights, I don't have to do anything. She lets me just watch watch <laughs> Night Attack. I don't do anything that night. See that's the that's power of the Chromecast, man. I just throw it on the living room TV because we can watch any of our stuff whenever we want and this is live. So we're like, hey, let's watch some night attack. <laughs> Usually yeah, can't stay up. I have the, the Chromecast show, too. Oh yeah, Chromecasts are awesome. Yeah, but all right, let's get let's get on with the next question. We got sidetracked, which I guess is kind of <laughs> the point of this because there there is no point to this show. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, so you're stranded on a desert island. You have a magic TV VCR combo player, DVD player, Blu-ray player. They exist, I swear. Um, it it doesn't need power. Runs on sunshine. You only get three okay. movies. Three movies wash up in a crate, but they're your favorite three movies ever. What are they? Uh the Italian job. Which one? I the the one with Marky Mark. Ah, oh, the new one. Nah, the original's better. Yeah, I like them both. I do like them both. Okay, at least you've seen the original. I've seen the original, yes. <laughs> um, but the the comedy alongside of or that's in, in the second one is probably, you know why I like the second one more, but they're both Hey, great. we're gonna rob a bank, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I, could, yeah. I couldn't help it. I, I, I had almost forgotten that he was in that movie. 
And then Mark Wahlberg was in it? Yeah. Oh, man. That's like the reason that... <laughs> okay, so having Mark Wahlberg in that movie is actually why I almost want to see Transformers, to be honest. <laughs> You know, I will give it that because he is he is a funny he does know how to be funny and kinda serious at the same time. Yeah. Like yeah, he can he can do that. So I, I get yeah. it. And and I do want to see Transformers, but mostly because I'm one of those people that if I like a movie, like the first one or two were actually pretty damn good, you know? And and yeah. so then I saw the third one and now it's like, well damn, now I want to know the story. So so now I kinda have to see the fourth one if I want to know what the hell happens, you know. So eh, you don't have to know what happens in a story about Transformers. <laughs> No, um, that so, movie is probably one of the definite ones that would be in there. Uh, okay. The Italian, Italian job, job, new one. Yeah, the new Italian job. Um, it sounds dirty. It's, it's, I, I don't know if I would search on uh, uh, Urban Dictionary for that one. New for Italian the new job. Italian job. <laughs> yeah, that that's just seems like a bad, bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I won't search for it. Yeah. Um, Start typing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, um, the second one would be probably one of the um, Christian Bale Dark Knight movies or Christian Bale Batman movies. Probably the, the second one. Oh, uh, uh, the Dark Knight. The Dark. Yeah, I was gonna say I was I was getting mixed up which order, and then I try to remember like the original, you know, Keaton series ones and stuff, and. <laughs> yeah, I watched. I've. I think I've watched them all, but um, I don't know. There's. I don't know that people can really argue with the fact that that series of Batman movies is the best one by far. And I've not watched them. You haven't watched them? The new ones? No, I haven't seen anything since the original series. Okay, you have some homework. I'm afraid. Like, I'm afraid, honestly. I don't want my, my childhood memories of Batman ruined, which, I mean, honestly, they pretty much did that with the third in okay, the original so what, series. But... <laughs> childhood memories of Batman are what? Michael Keaton? Yeah, basically. <laughs> and, and they and, can't uh, get any more ruined than they already are. All right. Well, you know, then you have Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Come on, he was a good Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know, I you know, should I, I should though. watch him. It's it's kind of on my like to do list thing, and then I've just been putting it off. It's it's like you know, to, it's like Firefly. I've not seen Firefly. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, I I pretty much don't know how to answer that. <laughs> then we don't really have a third movie to talk about. <laughs> Go. Were you gonna pick Serenity? I was gonna pick Serenity. Nice. <laughs> You can pick straight because so here's the thing with Firefly is that like I'm you know around like everybody else that watches it enough that I kind of know I understand it's it's like if Clint Eastwood was it was in a space western, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, that's it's the general gist I get, and and I know I should watch it. I would just like my wife and I started watching the first episode, and we we're like, eh, I think we had something else that we like really wanted to watch or something at the time, so we we decided to watch that, and then just never got back into it. So it's sitting there, unplex, unwatched. You know, I, and my right. wife and I, we watched the first one too, like the first two or three, and she she got bored and she stopped watching. It. <laughs> she bailed. She's like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it was like almost immediately she stopped watching it. That's my wife with defiance. But with what? Defiance. Oh, the sci-fi show, you know, St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched Defiance also. Yeah. Um, I, I like but <laughs> after the first couple, it gets way, way, way better. Okay. Way better. Sort of and like second not, I'm not just saying thing. that because I'm a Whedon fan. I'm not saying that because I'm, you know, a sci-fi fan. I actually enjoy the show. I know there's a lot of people who, who say Firefly gets given more credit than it deserves, and you know, stuff like that. But I enjoy it. So. It's, it's a rabid fan base thing too. It's like Futurama, you know. It's I love yeah. Futurama. It's, <laughs> they need to bring it back again for like the fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> Futurama is pretty good. You know, I I do have on that vein. I do have a confession to make that I haven't seen most of the Simpsons series. Really? Yeah, I've seen Futurama and I love Futurama, but I. Yeah, I haven't been able to watch most of The Simpsons. <laughs> well, I'll say we watch 
we watch it weekly, but it's not something we ever rewatch. You know, it's it's one of those things okay. where we DVR it, and we watch it, and then it's that's it. We don't care. You know, it's is this like, still on TV? Oh yeah, season twenty four oh or something now. Yeah, it's the longest running, probably TV show by now. That's that's a series TV show, not like a news or nightly thing or something like that. Yeah, but um, we do. I thought they got rid of it. Oh no, they they still have it. Uh, they got rid of the Cleveland show, which was you know yeah, good on you, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> And then, of course, promptly they made fun of it in, in Family Guy. They're like, oh, yeah, so I heard you got show canceled. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was pretty nice. good. Seth MacFarlane's a funny guy, dude. I can't, and no matter what anybody else says about him and Cosmos, it's, he definitely knows how to be funny. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, so, so enough derailment. <laughs> let's, let's get on with uh, you're given a superpower, right? You get to get some superpower and... and Arguably, you kind of get to choose it, but what superpower would it be, and what's the first thing you do with it? Man, you know, it's really hard to uh, to top Toby Pinders from last week. That was a freaking brilliant answer. Right. Yeah, he, he had a good one. Uh, and, and we're not going to spoil it. If you want to hear it, you got to go back and watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, to spoil be like it for that, you. Right? <laughs> I don't know, though, man. I'd have to say... I don't know. I'd have to go with like one of the, you know, one of the pretty common ones and just, you know, say something like flight. Because I, I honestly haven't really thought about this very much. <laughs> yeah, you've only had the show is, doc for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I have been looking at the doc for an hour, but I haven't really <laughs> like considered this very often. Right. So. The power of flight would be really cool. And the first thing I would do is very selfish. I would probably just fly to places that I want to see. Oh, sure. Free travel. So, yeah. Yeah, free travel. <laughs> like, I would be the most selfish superhero in the world. <laughs> Save me, flying man. Fuck you, man. I'm on Sorry. my way to Fiji. Sorry, I'm on my way somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll get you on the way back. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> <laughs> pick you up on the way yeah that'd totally be it that'd totally be it see now i've always wanted fly i always thought flight would be great because it's it's such a handy thing right you don't you don't need a car oh, yeah. anymore you don't need you know anything um but i've always cheated that by saying i'd rather have telekinesis because then i get i get the ability to move other stuff and myself so, yeah that's way cheating though i know it's totally cheating but if i had to pick one honestly telekinesis would be <laughs> You know, it'd either be, for me, it'd either be flight or, like, super speed. Cause yeah. If you're if you're moving fast enough, you might as well be flying. No, you're, you're right yeah. there. That's, um, um, Days of Future Past. Do you, you see X-Men, the new X-Men? Yes. Okay, so that Quicksilver scene. Dude, yeah. best scene of the movie. <laughs> like, I gotta say, I, I never, I never see time in a bottle, this, or hear time in the bottle the same, so. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he totally stole that scene. Yeah. Yeah, dude, he movie, stole half I mean. the movie. <laughs> yeah, he definitely stole that movie. That was awesome. I suppose no pun intended because he is, no, you know, spoiler, he's a thief <laughs> yeah. in the, the thing. Which He is a thief. Yeah. With super speed. I suppose what else would you do with that, though, besides fuck with things? Like go around and move, well, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're flying, if you're moving fast enough, you can go over water. You can go, yeah. you know, if you're if you're thinking about how the Flash used his super speed, he actually was capable of moving into the air with with his speed and so he could wait 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 flash could fly no see i wasn't I'm, I'm gonna admit something i'm not wasn't a huge comic book reader but i am i do like superhero fiction i think it's fun but yeah flash could fly so, well he couldn't he couldn't tip technically fly because what he did was he would compress the air below him so rapidly that it would lift him into the air okay so he could more hover well no because he could fly next to superman or run really, really, really fast next to Superman. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> but no, he had to that constantly one it, be moving. Yeah, there was a what, there was a cartoon one where they were like racing each other or something. Um, damn, what was that? Uh, cartoon memories. I I don't have them. It was they were racing each other around the world or something. They had like GPS armbands or some shit. I don't. It was a long time. Yeah. Ago. Yeah, he was well, running. Yeah, like like he had to constantly be moving in order to obviously stay in the air. Right. But. I guess 
I'm going to change it. I'm going to say super speed. <laughs> Ad hoc change. Oh, and we lost my video again. Man. Oh, man. I wonder if I can reset it. At least you don't... Uh, at least you don't have, like, a funny look on your face. Yeah, I'm just, like, staring at you weirdly. <laughs> uh... Here, I'll, I'll stare back at you. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's too funny. Can we? Can I refresh this? I wonder why it does this. Because it, it did this before when I was using Skype. It messed with my. Uh, it's messed with my camera. But I don't want to restart the stream. Nah, just leave yeah, it. We're we'll good. Leave it. And uh, I'll have to come up with something else for the next time I need to use Skype. Because I think it's Skype interrupting and trying to grab onto the camera and, and messing with it from OBS. But anyway, move on to that. What's what's your current game of, of choice? What are, you, what are you wasting your time on these days? Um, I'm splitting my time right now between Titanfall. Uh, me and JC Bobbitt from, from Chat Realm, we hang out on Titanfall quite a bit. Um, that and I've been using, or I've been playing Borderlands 2 a lot. I still haven't finished Borderlands 2, so. Oh, all right. I play that a lot. Nice. But yeah, those two, mainly. <laughs> if you want to play with me, I'm on Xbox Live. Seb Gon's on Xbox Live. Yeah, I don't with have zero. an Xbox. So, we eh. have a PS3, and I don't play it. <laughs> My wife plays well, it. Well... Whatever. I mean, I'm all over the place. You can find me anywhere and play with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so that's, that's good. Sounds like fun. That was a quick one. All right, yeah. Now, now for the real hard one. If you can move to any planet, you know, science fiction, even real life, though we don't necessarily know what the surfaces look like on a lot of them, what planet would it be and describe your house? Where would you live? Okay, you and I were kind of talking about this before the show. Yeah, we were um, a little bit. And I think without knowing it, you nailed it for me. Because I would love to live on Hoth. Would you really? You, you like it cold? I, I totally would. Because I cannot stand hot weather. <laughs> I can't stand it. Like right now, today has been the nicest it's felt in our house in like two weeks it's been all hot and muggy because we're having a bit of a heat wave here in utah no oh, sure and i cannot stand heat so i would love to live on hoth heck if it's i don't know some some star wars nut or nerd is going to tell me but if it's negative 700 degrees on there i don't i wouldn't care <laughs> right um i would prefer it overheat nice but uh my house would probably be a typical, you know, uh, Fortress of Solitude style home. There you go. I like that. Because, because you know, it's it's ice. It's got to be, I got to build into the ice. Right, yeah, you got to well. carve into that ice mountain. And of course, it's easy. You don't need a chisel or anything, just like a blowtorch. Yeah, exactly. Or right? your super speed. There you go. You speed up your molecules. You get hot. <laughs> you just walk around. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or I could just chase out some... Uh, some monsters and use their their own. Yeah, do, do tauntauns have burrows? Like, huh? Do tauntauns have burrows or like how does that work? I don't know. <laughs> what what was that one that uh that he was that Luke was trapped in and he had him upside down in the in the roof of the cave? Oh, I don't know what that animal was. Yeah, I don't remember either. But I'd just take that dude's house. He's yeah. he's not using it anymore. <laughs> obviously not <laughs> nice well all right so let's get to some more specific questions about you so happen to know you like to order some things on the internet and they happen to be of a certain persuasion so yes. uh shirts or knives which one you only get to pick one if you could only order one from the internet from now on which would it be oh if i could only order one from the internet or or like have one or get more of any one of them period oh okay see that that changes it um i'd say shirts shirts all right yeah um it's a good choice because i like to make my own 
like I do all I do a lot of my own shirt designs and stuff. So oh, of course, I would uh, if I couldn't make shirts, I'd probably I don't know lose very many parts of myself. <laughs> <laughs> but man, your mind, knives, <laughs> knives are so much fun right I mean these little guys are so much fun to have <laughs> no I I, uh, I was in Boy Scouts so I'm uh, I definitely know the usefulness of a knife <laughs> like honestly if you have one tool ever it's a knife because it'll do half the things you need it to do you know it can be a screwdriver yeah. if you need it to be it can pop open a bottle if you, you know like you can do a lot yep. of stuff with a knife if you need to all right. So you also, speaking of Utah, I know you attended Nerdtacular this year. Uh, I did. What was your favorite moment from Nerdtacular? I'm sure there's a billion that are awesome, but your one favorite, you know, five minutes of Nerdtacular, or I don't know, hour if it was a show or something. Well, it's it's kind of hard to say. I mean, but there's so many good ones. I mean, Smoke Monster with Mitsula and, and uh, Tom and uh brian and justin and who else was there veronica and oh, sure. scott johnson you know they were all there and smoke monster was fun i got to meet a lot of cool people there um the i mean even just the meetup like the, the get to know you meeting before oh, before no. nertacular no, no, no. even <laughs> happened huh I, can you hear that? Oh shit! Yeah, somebody's calling me, and it's ringing like every device I have. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, 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 stop! But no, I mean, there was a lot of good ones, but I would have to say that the 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 episode of Night Attack, the live Night Attack, and the ensuing commotion afterward, just you know, everybody just hanging out and talking. Um, that was probably the best part of it it was the best you know couple hours that i had getting to help t2t2 pull off that amazing you know bootleg version of that show oh, was geez. was fantastic yeah and i gotta thank that you and t2t2 and curly <coughs> and like everybody dude because the end of yeah, that curly. video yeah the end of that video was the best part i keep saying it because if like i didn't i live in wisconsin man i don't have money to travel out to nerdtacular this year you know so yeah. I, got, I had to live vicariously a bit and of course the feeds helped out a lot you know so i could watch live and stuff but being able to like just it was like hanging out with everybody like af after party you know and just like bullshitting with yeah. brian and stuff like that that's like the experience that i i can't wait to to be able to to do when i can manage to wrangle up some funds to get out to one of these events <laughs> No, I think that was definitely, you know, that was probably one of my favorite moments. I mean, all props go to Curly and T2T2 because they were they were the ones who mainly handled all that. I mean, all the after show stuff was Curly, um, but that was one of the greatest moments for me. I mean, there was a, I also had, sorry, I'm going to hijack this and do another one, but. Oh, okay. Right. Um, I'm gonna cheat here. <laughs> squeeze in the second I, favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'll squeeze in a second one. When I was um, getting my posters signed, the one that's hanging over there. Let's see here. You're, oh yeah, you're in oh, your 2014. Uh, nice. Um, when I was getting that signed, we uh, I was talking with Tom, and I was like. So this one is for I, I had I had J C Bobbitt I got one for him too because he was he wanted one and wasn't able to be there so sure um, I had him sign that one and then he signed it and gave it to Veronica and Veronica signed it and then I was like and this one's mine and he signed mine and he he passes it over to Veronica and he goes this one's for Seb Gons and she goes oh I I know Seb Gons <laughs> and Tom looks at me and looks at her and goes. That's Seb Gons. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too funny. Yeah, so it was pretty funny. I mean, it was it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Well, and of course you can't you can't terribly blame her because I I don't know what half you guys look like. Like honestly, I you know just oh, doing no, this yeah, is why. I agree. Know? And she's got you know thousands more people to keep track of than we would. So right. Yeah. That's. God, I don't even know how how I would do that. <laughs> Well, I happen to know you like printing things. You you mentioned you make shirts and and posters. I see by your background, and <laughs> or at least maybe you buy a lot of posters. <laughs> yeah, um, I buy a lot of posters. Right. I know you also print stickers. 
So what's what's the best sticker you've ever printed? Your favorite one? So it doesn't have to be um, one you made, of course, but but one that you actually like printed, like physically made. I would have to do. I made I made one for Ev Ev Lloyd, not that long ago, and it was a it was a chat room, the chat room flag thing, but it was for a specific beer that he wanted to make. Oh, nice! And um, so we made a a chat room Celtic red logo out of that and printed that off for him. And I'd drink I mean, it. That what was that? I just said I'd I'd drink it. Oh. Yeah, I mean he he's amazing. The guy beers all or brews all of his own beer and does a whole bunch of different stuff. So, oh, that's awesome. Um, but I made that for him, and it turned out really good, and I was really proud of it. And you know, I think that one is the best one I've ever done, just personally. So, no, oh, that's that sounds awesome. I definitely would. I, who's the the brewer you said? It's Ev Lloyd. He's a, a member of the chat room. You know, he, yeah. Uh, he's a, he's an Aussie, and so. Oh, so he just this is just his homebrew he did. Yeah, it's a homebrew that he did, and um. Oh, awesome. I you know he wanted it to be he wanted to give it a specific name and everything. He's got a few that he's coming up with, and I think he's actually, um, I don't know that he wants others to know, but. He's got. He's working on something for um, Chat Realm in in Diamond Club, okay. so that yeah, it's like so a, that like he'll, a he'll be able to. It's, it's all hush hush. <laughs> he's coming up. Well, I don't know that it's hush hush. He's he's trying to start his own brewery, but it's got a little bit of a you know an homage to Chat Realm in it so awesome no well, that's yeah. that's great maybe we'll get him on the show one of these days and uh, talk to him about like right after he launches or something do a little interview that'd be awesome yeah he's a cool guy yeah it sounds like it's the name sounds familiar i don't think i've seen him like on live in, in a lot of shows cuz i tend to be on more during the day um at yeah. work and stuff so he actually remember when uh, there was that little burst of people getting um, the diamond tattoos. Oh, yeah, like four or five people got... Yeah, something. he's the one who got it right here on his neck. Oh, okay. That's, I, you know, so. I'd get a diamond tattoo. You could, you could like, you know, even if you started hating the Diamond Club for some stupid reason. Like, if you hate the Diamond <laughs> Club, you're stupid. But, <laughs> you know, like, it, it's just two angled brackets. Like, I'd be like, oh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm really into HTML. <laughs> or, you know, like, I don't know. You do something like, and I'm a programmer, so that would that would actually work. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I do this my HTML tattoo. No, of course I, I would I would I would introduce it as the Diamond Club tattoo all the time, man. Use it yeah. as a, a conversation opener. People be like, oh, you know the Diamond Club? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah it, you got we're... anything else to plug while we're, while we're um... chatting away here? Well, I just relaunched sebgons.com. I'm going to be posting my work on there. Um, I have a few posters for sale on there. Awesome. Uh, some of these stickers, some of these tat or not tattoos, these decals <laughs> nice. are going to be up on there. And then like the Dyna Fire ones are going to be up on there soon too. I have these ones. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I may have to put it in order here. <laughs> but yeah, Back those will MacBook be up there pretty soon. bare. And um, no, that's basically it. I mean, that's basically where everything's going to be of mine. Any work that I do, any t-shirts, anything like that, they'll all be up there. Awesome. So there you go, subguns.com for all your chat room apparel and <laughs> theming needs. <laughs> I've yeah, follow me on Twitter if you don't already. Yeah, he's uh, at Seb Gons on Twitter. That's S E B G O N Z, or Z for you, uh, northern folks. North of me, I don't know. I guess you're south of Alaskans, people that live in Siberia. Yeah. Some don't they say bears. Z in uh, <laughs> in England too? No, I don't. Uh, damn, see, I should ask Toby Pinder that one when he was on. He's a Brito. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm. They could. They very well could. Uh, it would make yeah. sense anyway. But I just have one question for you. One final question before we go. Who are you gonna call? 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the typical the Ghostbusters. Okay, yeah, that is correct. You win. Um, nothing because I have nothing. I have nothing I can give you. That's. It. <laughs> but yeah, th thanks we got, for. We gotta come up with a fake tin vet currency for you. Oh yeah, ten bucks. Uh, ten bucks. There you go. Yeah, it's just, uh, see that's that's easy. It's cliche. Um. Oh, now see that now now I can't be creative on the spot. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll anyway, man. One. We'll think of one. What? We'll think of one. Yeah, we'll, we'll think of something. And then we'll start charging for it. Uh, <laughs> tin coin. Yeah, well, you can. You all can start mining tin coin. Uh, that's right. There you go. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being on, man. It's, it's great to have you. And um, I'm, I'm going to continue staring at you in the video. Uh, okay just not believing what you say because I kind of have the look of disbelief on my face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No. It was fun, man. I, I enjoyed talking with you guys. We are talking with you and uh, we'll have to do this again sometime maybe. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, maybe when I get North American Nerds going for real this time, we'll, we'll get you on as a, as a guest for a longer term because... So you can tell we talked for a little bit longer than the normal <laughs> time span on yeah. here. So that's oh, totally fine. There is no real set time length on here. It's just I shoot for about 15, and if we go for more, awesome. <laughs> cool. But well, thanks for thanks for being on, and uh, I guess we'll we'll take the take the elevator back out here with the wonderful music that I've found. Oh, you can't see me dancing. Damn. Don't forget to call your mama. 